Okay, defending territory. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh. Hey guys, so the Yasha Gobi has been in the tank for what, I think two or three days already. But it has not really eaten and you can't really see him right now, but his stomach is a little bit sunken in, so I'm a little concerned. Uh, but it seems to be alert and good health. So what I did is actually bought half a portion of live brine shrimp from my local fish store, Congressional Aquarium. And the idea is to kind of use this to entice the feeding response. We're gonna try some in the tank first. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm gonna add them in the tank first. Let's take a look at the fish. Mm. Oh, fish are all freaking out. Not really. Ew. These are the sea monkeys. So you may have to like find some angle. You see where the little fish is? Mm. No. Actually, no, like from bottom, from bottom then. Yeah, she's it's kind of hips peeking out. So we'll drop some in here. And hopefully... No, she's not eating. Oh, oh, oh it's eating, it's eating. eating, it's eating. So that's good. So um, obviously brine shrimp does not have a lot of nutritional value. But at this point, we just want to get something into the fish stomach. Ooh, is she easy? And I'm also hoping that the other Yasha Gobi is gonna swim up and meet this one and see how they interact with the barrier in place. I'm hoping that they'll get used to each other. They just care about the they, food. Yeah, they only care about the food, they, pretty much. Okay, here we go. Apparently this girl just really camera shy. Let me see if I catch her on camera eating. Oh, there it is. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, whenever her camera's out, she just swim the other way immediately. So we got visual confirmation that she is eating. And that's fantastic. Now the stomach is actually bulged out versus it was a concave. Um, she did not eat for about two or three days. But uh, now we got a couple days couple more days I could uh, keep her in this container here if necessary. I think like once she, once she start eating those uh, frozen foods that I feed or flake, then I can probably release her into the tank and hopefully they will pair up this guy and hopefully as a girl, <laughs> we'll see. If not, we'll just move her to, at that point it'll be him, move him to the 10 gallon tank upstairs. Two days later. Hey, what's up, briefers? It's now a day and a half later, and. Wait, the hey, let's go. Do you like? <laughs> okay. Emily just farted, it stinks. Alright, what's up, briefers? <laughs> now it's a day and a half later. The fish has ate, eaten two meals. Stomach has been full, so I think um, the fish is pretty well adjusted. Again, this is not a quarantine for the Gobi. I really should be quarantining, but um, inappropriate reefer. So this is more like an acclimating. I'm kind of conditioning the fish to, to the condition of the tank. But now it's time Wee. to release the, whole, the only female Yasha Gobi into the tank. First thing first, fish is still in there, right? Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm debating whether I should do this at night when the light is off. But uh, I feel like right now the fish probably got a pretty handle of where the things are in terms of where <gasps> everything is in the tank. So we're just gonna do it with the light on. Uh, we still got about an hour worth of uh, daylight in the tank. So that'll give the fish plenty of time to find a good spot to hide. Uh, I'm gonna release the fish around here. I wanna make sure the fish is away from the enemy. So here's a moment, you ready? Emily, you ready? Yes, yes. I'm really excited by the way. Just don't pull it up. I've been looking for this fish for so long. Make sure I just do it like this. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. She's coming out, she's coming out, she's coming out. She's coming out, she's out, she's out, she's out, she's out. She's out. She's that's, a, that's a good spot. That's a good spot. All right, let me get, get rid of this and then we'll take a closer look. Just keep the camera on her in case. The, I want to see when the other one fall, comes out, if they fight each other. Ooh. He's peeking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't know what happened. He's just smiling at the camera. Hello. And the stream as well. Okay, that's weird. What are they doing? 
It's like, come back, come back. I'm trying to, where's, the, where's the other fish? Oh, there's right there inside the hole. Oh, they see each other. They see each other. They see Wait, each other. Wait, there is a... There's a hermit crab there. Yeah, they see each crab. other. All right, guys. So we got the male Yashigobi front and center. The female one is kind of in that little it. cave in the back right there. Um, can't really, right there, right there. She's kind of hiding right now. A hermit crab is there keeping her company while probably scavenging in case she dies and the hermit crab can have first dip. <laughs> I have a feeling that's what it is. All right, guys, regardless of what happens, let's put a cover on first because, man, I, these guys are jumpers. Especially if they don't agree with each other, they're going to fight and one of them is going to dash straight up. And that's the last one we want. Oh, there, there she is, there she is. Right behind the hermit crab. Guys, here it is. First time they're meeting. Holy sh! I'm so dude. Oh, okay. He looked pissed off as oh crap. Oh, he looked pissed as shit. Yo, he looks so pissed. He looks so angry, dude. He's like, oh, oh man. Oh shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Defending territory. Oh shit. Oh shit. They're fighting. All right. Let's see if they sort it out. If not, uh, I'll bring the smaller one to the 10 gallon, no problem. Okay, I think that it's actually not. I wanna say it's not that bad. <laughs> Are you sure? Because, like, the other one, I, the like, previous one, when it's actually two male, they actually lock jar. Both of their mouth locked together. What? Like, a straight up fight. Like, this one, let's see if they work it out. Yo, girl, be tough. I think that was okay, actually. Hopefully that is really a girl. Dude, what is Ross doing there? She, she, she's just watching. Go away. Oh. They're communicating, they're communicating. I think they're communicating. Establishing dominance. If it's two male, then it's, uh, they're gonna fight. But right now I think they're just kind of communicating. Showing who's boss. I don't know, they, they have some... Check ID, check ID, they're checking ID right now. It's asking for ID. Numbers. And she's pulling down her pants. Show her, don't mess with me, y'all. Oh don't mess with me. So I think I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Oh, dude, this is crazy. Look at that. Like, wah, Godzilla. This this fish is scary. Right? I think it's okay. I'm walking on how long I'm dying. I think it's okay. It's actually really cool to see. I think that's okay. Oh, 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 What's shaking. I think that's submitting. Well, in clownfish, when a clownfish turns sideways and shake, that means it's submissive. Like, it's like, oh, you're the boss, you're the boss. Aww. Let's see what happens. Come on, girl. Feminist. Oh, feminist. This is so cool, dude. Yeah, the, the fact that they're not locking jar and like battling it out, I think that's good. And this Ross, I don't know what, what the heck it's doing. What are you doing? I think that's good. Oh, I think that's good. Back. That's okay. No, I mean, this is nice. This is good. The fact that he didn't like viciously chase after her and uh, she kind of just like walked away over there and he didn't chase, I think that's a good sign. Let's see if they go back. Oh. She wanted to join the family. I do think based on my animal instinct that we got male and female. Now they're just kind of working out the dominance situation. And I think it's pretty obvious who's dominating one here. Let's see how the the, other, the smaller one communicate that to him. That she means no harm. Go girl, passive, aggressive, go. <laughs> just like work your way in first and then take all his money. Right. My plan. Oh shit. But you have no money. I don't have no money. <laughs> is this the right time to tell them this this news? And, uh, okay, anyway, look at fish. Where did the other one go? Oh, you missed it. Well, that's oh, what happened. She, she went back. She went back. What? Where? Yo, where did she go? Did she go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her eyes there. I do not see. All right, we took like a one minute break and then she's back. She's creeping back, she's a creeper. She wanna go in, she wants the D. She wants the D. 
and there there she is kind of just like checking him out I was like yo but I come try it one more time oh there she goes she's gonna try again she's gonna try to join the little family again look at that see see her all the way in the corner the left side and here's a Ross Ross is not shy at all the Ross is like a guest that would just not leave oh there she is Layla 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 oh oh she went to the barrel she went to the barrel she's going to the barrel look at that she's at entrance she said that she went to the entrance she went in she went in dude she went in and he let her he let her in yeah dude what are you doing did you try did you sign a prenup holy sh yo she went in she's inside I think he knows I think he knows I think he knows I think he knows there's no way he did not know Dude, dude, she's in there. Her head is facing out. She's in. She is in. Where's the shrimp? What did the, 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 the shrimp has anything to say about it? Sh the they, shrimp is baby. She has no say. I want to see. Yo, oh, there. You see her? You see her at the entrance? Mm -hmm. Like when the tail moves? Oh, there she is. Oh. Surprise! Oh, now kick her out. No shit. Oh, oh, okay, okay, happened? okay. No, I think it's good. He accepted her. The fact that then she why he still she'd just that? be like, "Yo, what up?" Remind, gosh, he got to remind her who's boss once in a while. <laughs> I think this is it. Awful. They paired up. They paired up. They paired up. Oh hell yeah! Look, the fact that he let her go into a hole. Yo, this is so cool, man. To see, oh jeez, this is so awesome. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, they're they making out. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, chicka, bum, <laughs> I want, I want to see how the shrimp react though when the shrimp see another fish. All right, I guess they're not gonna come out for a couple hours. <laughs> That's short. <laughs> they can't all be like me. <laughs> Yo, yeah, they're not weird. coming out. What's happening in there? Yo. Yo, they're not coming out. <laughs> what do you think they're doing? Think it rings out. I think they just have a talk have a for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> do, what, do whatever fish does. <laughs> they're having a serious talk because like this they're introducing yeah. they're introducing the new fish to the shrimp. Cause the shrimp has not met sense? her yet. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is a family channel. Moments later. Oh shit, it's a girl okay, I was like I was like, wait, who the, the first one I peeked out is a girl. The power now. Yeah. Ooh. What the heck? She took over the house. Yes. They had a divorce. She, she got she got all everything that he, he owns. Now it's her house. Uh oh, she got kicked out. Oh. oh, the shrimp! The shrimp kicked her out. <laughs> the shrimp was like, "Nope, not your house." Hey, look at Noah! Look at Noah! Yeah. I saw her. Yeah, she's like, "What's wrong?" Oh, the head is facing out, right? What's wrong? Yeah, she's curious. I want to see. Okay, yeah, the shrimp. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Try. I want to see whether she's blind. Well, apparently not. <laughs> yeah, I proved that. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'll be really happy when I, if I can see all of them out. You know, the female, the male, and the shrimp. So we know they're like one unit. But I guess we'll give them some time. All good. Uh, that is really cool to see. That's yeah, such a cool stop thing. Stop disturbing them. Yeah, yeah, you're the one <laughs> waving a flashlight in front of them. And no, to... you asked me to do that. Oh man, so cool. Four to six more days later. Guys. I'm so happy! <laughs> Fish are doing well! Why are you laughing? We're gonna feed them and I'm gonna show you what's going on. Alright, so it is about a week since they've paired up. Look at that. So the, we see the female on the right side, we see the male on the left side, and we know- Oh, the, le the, the male disappeared. Oh wait, there's a the male. We can tell them apart because the male got that really tall dorsal fin while the female got the one that got nipped off. So let's spray some brine shrimp. And we'll see the female, look at her, much more confident and no longer hide when I approach this. She is always confident. She's always confident, like Emily's Emily saying. So the interesting thing, again, is that the tunnel actually connects. So the tunnel, you see here, the other entrance back there, and you see the shrimp actually going back, um, back and forth, trying to uh, reinforce that entrance. That's a new entrance. And it'll be interesting to see if the other gobi kind of shows up on here as well. Guys, it has been about one week later. Check out the Yasha Gobi family. And you notice that they're a lot larger thanks to the flipper magnetic viewer. So check this out. 
Um, they have totally got used to each other. They're working in pairs now. Um, the barrel that the shrimp is so busy building actually has two entrances. One over here, one on the other side of the tank. And oftentimes I'll find a female guarding this entrance and a male guarding the other one. So this is one of the uh, rare chance that the whole family is hanging out here. It's pretty cool, huh? Look at that. We got the male with the tall dorsal fin. We got a female with the nipped off dorsal fin, which will hopefully grow back. And then we got the shrimps who is busy building the tunnel. And I think like out of all three characters, the shrimp probably is the happiest because now he can uh, further expand the tunnel and he got two buddies to stand guard, guarding the tunnel, make sure the family is safe. And on top of all this, I think we actually have a name now for this little guy, this silver belly of Ross right here, who always randomly drop by as we're filming, as we're hanging out. I think we're gonna call him Kramer. What do you guys think? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to observe them, a lot of fun to cut it together. And if you wanna keep up to date with what's happening with the Yashagobi family, as well as Kramer right here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, so the next time a video goes live, you'll be the first one to know. I'll see you next time. Hey, Moki. Where are you going? We're getting married. This is my wedding dress. Who are you marrying to? The Reef Squad. <laughs>